Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over some basic information, but stay tuned to the end and you're going to learn something that you probably didn't know. Okay, so those of you that follow this channel, I know that you're up on the nominations, the nomination process, uh, service academy applications, and all that. Uh, for those of you that are new here, uh, stay tuned. Uh, you'll learn a lot. You'll also learn a lot from uh, people that contribute in the comments. And if you have any questions, just uh, email me below at the uh, email in the uh, comment box. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, nominations. The three DOD academies, West Point, Annapolis, and the Air Force Academy. Nominations are typically received from the senators, the two U.S. senators, and the member of Congress. So today we're just going to talk about members of Congress. Members of Congress can only nominate people from their district for the three DOD academies. Repeat, members of Congress can only nominate people from their district for the three DOD academies. And yes, I'm sure that there's exceptions, and yes, please let me know down below, but that's usually how it goes. The United States Coast Guard Academy, uh, long history, uh, goes way back. Uh, go read the Wikipedia article on the Coast Guard Academy, and you'll find that the uh, Coast Guard Academy uh, never had uh, congressional nominations, uh, and to this day, they do not require congressional nominations. So th there we go, the three DOD academies. You need a nomination from the U.S. Senator or your congressman in your district. U.S. Coast Guard Academy, you don't need a nomination at all. Now, the last academy, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. The U.S. Merchant Marine Academy falls under the Department of Transportation, the Maritime Administration. It is not a DOD academy, and therefore it has different rules for nominations. So just like any of the other service academies except for the Coast Guard, you can get a nomination from uh, one of, or two of your U.S. Senators, your congressman from your district, or, or, big point here, any congressman from your state. So if you want to apply to the United States Merchant Marine Academy, you can apply to all the congressmen within your state and ask for a nomination. And I just put the language up over here and you can read it for yourself, but I encourage you to go to the Merchant Marine Academy website and, uh, and read it there firsthand. So what that means is that your chances of getting a nomination for the Merchant Marine Academy are pretty good if you go to all the congressmen in your state. So if you live in a very competitive district, so let's say you live in uh, Nassau County, New York, it's a very uh, competitive district for all the service academies, uh, Coast Guard Academy, which doesn't need a nomination, but it's a, a very competitive district. Um, and there's a couple of districts in there, but it's a very competitive area. So you can apply to all the congressmen in New York State and ask for a nomination to the Merchant Marine Academy. So for example, if you live in Nassau County, you can go and ask for a uh, nomination from the congressman or congresswoman that represents Buffalo. Um, so I'm sure you guys didn't know that. I'm sure you guys knew the, uh, you know, the other, the DOD academies, the, uh, the, the points about that. But this final point on the Merchant Marine Academy, I'm sure that you didn't know that. And uh, for those of you who want to go to the Merchant Marine Academy, uh, now is the time to take advantage of that and put your applications in to uh, the congressman, not only in your district, but also across the state. Uh, so good luck, and I hope you get what you want. Bye now.